Hey, women in midlife. In this video, I'm going to show you five ways to improve your brain memory. As you know, when we get through menopause, many women feel that they are, oh, where did I leave my key? Or I can't concentrate because of brain fog. Now, this is also partially true because we are losing our sleep due to hormonal disruption. And so it's important to keep our brain working and getting it, exercising it like we would with our body. Now, one of the first thing that you have to do is exercise. I talk about this a lot and how important daily exercise can help you. All it takes is 30 minutes of your time and you feel good for the rest of your life. Now, every day, if you take in 30 minutes, when you exercise, you're breathing in oxygen to your head space, you are increasing nutrients to your brain and improving cognitive function. Now, this will also help with your memory and do take the effort to carry some light weights. It doesn't have to be your 30 kilo weight, something light just to keep your muscle mass going strong uh, do combination of strength exercises uh, cardio and stretches always remember your stretches now all this maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes listen to my uh, chat with Apec Jim uh, which is also in the link below now sleep sleep is crucial for memory consolidation now during sleep the brain processes and stores information that you learn during the day. Lack of sleep can impair your memory. So it's important to prioritize your, your sleep quality every night. Now, one of the things that you can do immediately is uh, regulate your time that you sleep and regulate the time that you wake up. Try to set up the body where it starts to uh, understand that it needs to wind down. Make sure that your room is comfortable, uh, nothing too bright lights, uh, do not play with your phone or have your TV in your room. Try to educate the body and the brain to wind down for the day. Um, third thing, mental stimulation. Keeping the brain active with mental stimulation can help you improve memory. Now, what can you do? You may ask. For sure, reading is very important. I find uh, Sudoku is also very important and puzzles help stimulate the brain. Uh, most of women uh, at this age uh, have to take on a challenge by learning something new. Learning a new skill, uh, a new language helps the brain function and exercising it more. So these are some of the things that you can already start doing and it helps you to, to learn more as well in this new world. Now, uh, the fourth thing is, of course, our diet. Now, I, I think one of the things that uh, we have to understand is you don't have to be full vegetarian, but if you are, that's good. Uh, do include omega-3 in your diet if you can. Fatty acids is important. Antioxidants and vitamins. Now, this will help with your brain function and memory. Include lots of fish nuts, berries, and leafy greens in your, for brain health as well as for your bones as well. So just generally avoiding processed food is a good rule of thumb. And always remember, uh, no extremes, always a balanced meal. You can always indulge with your occasional chocolates and ice cream, but not too much of it. All right. Now, lastly, is about managing stress. Um, Chronic stress can definitely affect your mental health as well and your memory. Finding ways to manage this stress can help improve memory function. So one of the things that you can already do is actually combining exercise and meditation. So walking meditation is really good because you can zone out. You are focusing one step at a time. You're focusing on your breathing. For those of you who have difficulty to sit down and meditate, this is a good alternative to a meditation and exercise. Uh, do find 
time to socialize, whether it is with your friends over exercising or having a meal together. But one of the things I truly enjoy is also, uh, you know, volunteering. I find that when you volunteer and help, you also have a better perspective of your life that things are not as bad as it is. And when you give yourself uh, in terms of your time, not just money, your time, you will also have better perception and gratitude for where your life is and what it has given you. So, you know, a lot of us do go to some form of depression or mood swings during this period. When you help others, it actually helps you more than you are helping the other person. So do practice these five things and I hope that you are having an awesome day ahead.